We've talked a lot about diet studies here on 150 Seconds. I like to complain about them because they're often observational and healthy people tend to eat healthier diets. Randomized trials are a bit better, but unless you're giving all your participants every single meal, you're never entirely sure what they're going to get. This week, an article appearing in JAMA Internal Medicine offers a somewhat unique approach to the problem, and it's one of those cases where I think the methodology is actually more interesting than the overall results. A group of Spanish researchers wanted to determine whether a Mediterranean-style diet would protect against cognitive decline in a group of about 450 people at risk of cardiovascular disease. Now, a Mediterranean diet is characterized by fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts, fish, and olive oil. Micronutrient-wise, we're talking about mono and polyunsaturated fatty acids, which may have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. The authors randomized the participants into three groups, a control group, which was just a low-fat diet, and then two Mediterranean diet groups. And here's the interesting part. The intervention was just some education about what the diet is like, and then a weekly food gift of either a liter of extra virgin olive oil or about a cup of mixed nuts. Interestingly, after four or five years of follow-up, the people that were getting these Mediterranean-style gifts had significant changes in their dietary intake. Their caloric intake didn't change, but their carbohydrate intake went down significantly, and their polyunsaturated fat intake went up. Now, the primary results weren't quite as sizzling. There was mild cognitive decline in the control group and a bit less cognitive decline in the Mediterranean diet groups, but effect sizes were small overall. There are a few blemishes in the study that I should mention. The first is that for the first half of the trial, at least, the control group wasn't getting quite the same level of attention as the intervention groups. They didn't have as much face time with the study coordinators. That means they may have been less invested in the study and might not have performed as well on subsequent cognitive testing. The second issue is a relatively high dropout rate, around 25% overall, which was differential between the groups. Taken together and with the moderate overall effects, we can't say much about whether a Mediterranean diet truly helps cognition or not. But I frankly don't think that's the main point. I'm interested in the fact that the simple act of giving people a healthy food option, giving them a gift of olive oil once a week, can change dietary behaviors over the long term. That's a pretty interesting finding and one that I think is frankly quite slick. For MedPage Today, I'm Perry Wilson.